continuous link belt installation. Air Exchange cassettes are marked with unique serial numbers that can be entered into Air Exchange's online parts lookup program to identify parts and access exploded views of the product. The unique serial number can be found on the product label in the pulley corner of each cassette. Access to Air Exchange's online parts lookup tool can be reached at airexchange.com/service. The procedure shown in this demonstration requires a socket set and ratchet a Phillips screwdriver and duct tape. To begin, shut the power off to the unit and gain access to the air exchange wheel. If possible, slide the air exchange wheel out of the unit for ease of access to serviceable components. Please note that all continuous link belts ordered from air exchange will be cut to the appropriate size based on the serial number. If ordering from another vendor, contact air exchange to determine the correct size. If a tensioner is installed, Remove the bolt securing the tensioner assembly. Set the tensioner assembly aside. Loosen and remove the three screws securing the tensioner base. Neither the tensioner assembly nor the base will be reused. Locate the first link in the replacement belt, which is a closed tab, as opposed to the last link, which has an open, I-shaped tab. The text on the belt should face away from the rim of the wheel. The remainder of the belt will wrap around the wheel clockwise. Direction arrows are shown on every tenth link of the belt to aid in the correct direction of the rotation as the belt is wrapped around the rim. Wherever accessible, secure the end of the replacement belt to the outside rim of the wheel with duct tape to prevent flipping. Take care to ensure that the belt does not flip on the surface of the wheel during the installation. Slowly rotate the wheel clockwise while feeding the belt onto the surface of the wheel rim, securing the belt to the rim at each spoke with a piece of duct tape to prevent flipping. Continue this until the leading end of the belt has passed under the right side of the beam. Remove the tape from the leading end of the belt. Join the belt ends. Hold the belt with tabs pointing outward. Place the end tab through the two links at once. Flex the belt further and insert the second tab through the end link by twisting the tab with your thumb. Ensure that the tab returns to the correct position across the belt. Make sure the tabs are touching the wheel rim. Flip the belt so that the tabs run inside, contacting the surface of the rim. Stretch the belt around the pulley with the tabs facing into the pulley groove. Hold the belt against the wheel rim at the center beam and rotate the wheel clockwise to stretch the belt back onto the wheel rim. Remove all of the tape from the wheel rim. Rotate the wheel slowly to confirm that the belt tabs are riding flat against the wheel rim and pulley. If flipped, feed the belt onto the wheel rim and or pulley in the direction of the rotation with tabs positioned flat against the rim for approximately one quarter turn. Continue turning the wheel until all the tabs lay flat against the wheel rim and pulley. At several locations, again, ensure that the belt is properly installed and has not flipped. The text on the belt should face away from the rim of the wheel with the tabs contacting the rim. For more information, contact Air Exchange or go to airexchange.com/service.